Hello everyone. Last time we practiced transposing the chord of motion through the circle of keys. In this next video of the series, we'll sandwich a chord of motion between two chords of rest. Call it a cadence and transpose the entire combo through the circle again. Most of this is going to be unscripted. The two basic chord types are independent consonant chords and dependent dissonant chords. Now we're going to put them both together. The dependent chord, the 5-7, finds its rest, the resolution of its dissonance, with the independent chord after it. The starting fingering, the left hand, plays scale degrees 1, 5, and 1, which are the tonic, dominant, and tonic of the key. Beginning with finger 5. The right hand plays the two chords of rest, of motion, of rest. And the fingering is 1, 3, 5, and 2, 4, 5. Very important to keep the same fingering all the way through. Put them together, they sound like this. And look like that. To really benefit from this course, you have to transpose everything every exercise to all the other keys. Let's try it first with the ascending fifths, ascending perfect fifths. Here we are, key of C first, and then up a fifth, easy, five notes up, and so on. E. Notice that I try to keep within the octave on both sides of middle C. So I just shift up and down an octave when needed. Going on. B, which is also the enharmonic key, remember, C flat. F sharp, or G flat. C sharp, or D flat. A flat. flat B flat and F because going up another fifth brings us back to C from there we can go on and try the other circle of fourths four up from C is F again from F B flat, then E flat, A flat, D flat, or C sharp, G flat, or F sharp, C flat, or B. 
going on. E. A. D. And G. Which will bring us back to C. Of course, the assignment would be to repeat playing through these cadences through all the keys on a base on a daily basis. I always suggest play seven to ten days in a row each new exercise or until you can run through them all without any mistakes or hesitation. And so on. Always use the same fingering, enjoy your progress, and be sure to check the links and references mentioned in the description and watch through any of those playlists that look interesting or that you may find helpful. Thank you for watching. If you like this presentation, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, share a link, Subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive updates.